I'd just like to take a minute or two to uh, tell people here, if some people are not familiar, with some of the activities that the Beth said involves itself with on an annual basis. Sometimes we hear questions of, what does the Beth Sedek Men's Club do? This is a trivia question at Beth Sedek. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that if you read any of the publications that go forward from the synagogue, you'd readily find out what the Men's Club does every year. Uh, for instance, um, providing um, bar mitzvah books to bar, the Chumash and Machzor to bar bar mitzvah, our Sunnybrook Shabbat services, uh, the distribution of Yom HaShoah and Hanukkah candles, um, supporting the National and Regional Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs, Hebrew literacy programs, the Worldwide Wrap, an annual program related to putting on tefillin for bar mitzvah boys, etc. The Neighborhood Interfaith Group, Dialogue of Christians and Jews, the Out of the Cold program, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, we administer the scholarship program, which is what we're doing here this morning in our scholarship breakfast. Um, uh, support Holocaust Education Week, um, which we did last year. We were part of the official program uh, through to the efforts of Larry, and we're going to try to do something again next year as well. Um, copies of the books to couples getting married at Beth Sedek, um, various breakfast meetings and other speakers that we bring to the synagogue to enlighten the community about Jewish matters and uh, Torah issues, uh, the video online library, as Larry just mentioned, a new program that we've just started uh, last year is the baseball uh, league that we were involved with and we won the championship last year. Our, our captain is not here, but our, our honorary uh, bench coach is here, and he has the, the trophy. We also bring him in in the bottom of the 10th inning if we, you know, if we need to hold, hold the game together. And there's the trophy over there, which we're not giving back to anybody because we're going to hang on to it for a long time. And the reason we're doing the Bad Sedek Baseball Club, the rabbi suggests that we do that, is because we want to bring new people into the Bad Sedek Men's Club. The whole idea of all of these programs is not just community service, and being a valuable part of the community of the Beth Seda community. We want to bring more people and we have the cousin at the back of the room here. <laughs> uh, we we we're trying to one idea that he has is uh, next year in the fall to have a Friday night service sponsored by the men's club, have a dinner and have a, a nice uh, service with the rabbit with the cousin and the choir and to have a dinner following maybe with the speaker, but to something to bring the Shabbos feeling into the shul and to bring families into the men's club. And that's what we want to do. So I'm really looking forward to planning that program. Um, also, we had a, another suggestion just a few days ago by Rabbi Tenenbaum, where he's asked us to get involved in phoning uh, people to come to the Daily Minion, because we're having a problem with the Daily Minion, apparently. So we have a list of people whose yurt sites are coming up, and we volunteer here in our group to call in advance to those people who have upcoming yurt sites to remind them about coming to the service to say Kaddish, to help bolster the, uh, not only the uh, minion, but also the spirit of the community of Beth Sedek as well. And uh, we, we've been involved in that, Sam Hoffer of our group, and uh, myself, Hirsch Rosenthal, we're going to be calling, and, and, and other, others who volunteer through the course of this program. So you can see we're very busy here at the Men's Club, and, and the bottom line is, is that um, the portion of the Torah last yesterday was uh, was numbers, and what we're interested in here are numbers. Numbers are very important in the Jewish community. We need more numbers of people uh, to be involved in the Beth Sedek Men's Club. So those of you who are here today, and if you know other people who want to be involved, be more than happy to talk to them about coming to our weekly, our monthly meetings and uh, getting involved.